Well, uh, folks, just a quick note here. There's one thing we deal with every single day with every single med check we do in the office. It's our whole medical team, and we've done it for years, and that is we pay attention to D-O-E, duration of effectiveness. No, it's not a female deer. And I've done another video about this, but let me say it to you very, very succinctly. Medications that are given for attention deficit disorder really don't last all day. Somehow I think you knew that. The real bottom line here is that they have to be adjusted carefully based on the DOE. Now all these are spelled out very specifically in my new book, New ADHD Medication Rules. It's actually available on all the digital bookstores now. It's going to soon be in your local bookstores at the beginning of next year, but you can get it by pre-ordering it right now. And they've got discounts on pre-order, but I don't want to sound like I'm selling books. I want to really tell you how to get the information. That's why I'm here on the video. The bottom line is the DOE is very important. Every single med check should have a DOE question. When do you take it? How long does it last? I can't tell you. I ask this question repeatedly. Everybody that works with me. So what happens is immediate release medications last for maybe four, maybe five hours. Immediate release medications are, require more compliance. That's why if you give one in the morning, you're going to need one around noontime. Too much trouble. People forget the compliance, which means people just don't take it the way they should. So what happens is when they don't take it, they don't get it. And if they don't get it, they don't concentrate. It's like wearing corrective lenses. If you don't put the corrective lenses on, guess what? You can't see. It's really basic. So we are strong proponents and have been for years of the extended release medications. Now, what's happened is managed care is kind of fighting with us about this. I'm happy to say that some of them are starting to turn the light switch on after years of really not getting it and really, in my opinion, not supporting medical treatment the way they should. And so what happens is we've been given immediate release medications far more than we want to. Bottom line is we need the DOE correct. The nice thing is the longer acting medications like Vyvanse, and I'm not paid to make this. I'm not working for Shire anymore. It was a nice tour. Thank you, Shire. I'm not working for him anymore. I'm saying this because it works right. That's the bottom line. DOE, when do you take it? When does it quit working? Now, I'm going to just close with this one thought. When does it quit working is pretty hard. With an immediate release uh, medication, you can feel, boom, you know it quit working. With a time release medication like Vyvanse, Figuring out when that quits in the afternoon is harder. You don't feel it in your body. You see it in your mind. So what happens is you have to think, when am I concentrating? What am I taking this medication for? And remember, as we talk about in new ADHD medication rules, so many people are taking the medications to really correct their thinking, not their feeling. Yes, their feeling, it's true. But when your thinking gets straight and you iron it out correctly, then you're in the right shape. So that's a big one. And we want to encourage you to look at duration of effectiveness. Thanks. You guys have a great day.